One of the defining features of the Van Damme Academy curriculum is that we teach literature. One of the parents at school told me that uh, a few weeks ago her daughter was talking to a neighborhood friend and asked the friend what she's reading in literature class. And understandably, her friend looked at her like she was speaking a foreign language. Literature class? They don't have literature class. They have English, and part of English is reading, but they don't have something called literature class, and she didn't know what she was talking about. So that's what I had growing up, too, and probably what you had. English class was an umbrella for all the language arts, vocabulary, spelling, grammar, and reading. So is this just a semantic difference that we call it literature, they call it reading or English? I don't think so. It's actually a profound difference. The difference is that when we're teaching literature, when we're, when we're teaching novels to the children, we're teaching it as a work of art. And the whole approach of the course is to get them to understand and appreciate the value of the work as a work of art. In contrast to my own experience with reading, and that of many kids today, I think, which is that reading is a didactic exercise. It is learning new vocabulary words. It is identifying topic sentences. It is finding the component parts of writing, like similes and metaphors and narrative voice. It is writing the universally dreaded, mundane, and boring book report. So here, we're teaching literature. We're teaching great classics of children and adult literature, and we're teaching them how to put together all the bits and pieces, the lines of dialogue, the events of the story, to integrate those into a total understanding of the basic nature of the characters and of the theme of the work, which is the ultimate value of that work as a work of art. So um, this is what our kids are accustomed to. They're accustomed to reading a novel, discussing it daily, discussing it in a way that integrates all the pieces and gets them to an understanding of the basic theme. So I've noticed the impact of this approach on my kids at home, even when we go to a movie or a play. I recently went to New York with them and we saw the play Billy Elliot. I have mixed reviews. Um, but anyway, at, at uh, intermission, I turned to one of my daughters and said, so what do you think is the theme so far? She paused for about five seconds and then said, even when times are rough, he has to pursue his dream. Perfect, beautiful, a great statement of the basic essence of the work. And so, so what, what's the value of that? Well, it means that that's what, that was her mind's approach to watching this play. She was looking at it in terms of how does this all fit together? What does it mean? What do the characters stand for? What is the ultimate value of this story? What is the author's point? And then she can take that theme away from, with her. She, she'll retain it. She can apply it. She can ref, see it reflected in her day-to-day -day experiences. So that was thrilling to me to see that impact of her education on her approach to all uh, works of art that she encounters in her life and to see that she approaches them as works of art and minds the value that they offer.